Hey folks, how's it going? Today we're going to do a quick run through about the Enhancement Shaman. Now this was a spec, didn't get a whole lot of play through all of Battle for Azeroth, but through the first stretch of Shadowlands here, we're seeing some really fun, engaging gameplay, both in the PvP space as well as PvE. So hang on, the, the rebuild here that they did and completely rework the spec to get away from Maelstorm as a resource has really paid off well. So from a talent perspective, you want to go with Forceful Wind about 100% of the time. Um, tier 2, go with Storm Fury 100% of the time. Like, don't touch Hot Hand, don't touch Ice Strike. Earth Shield, uh, it's, it's an improvement. You can only have like one of two shields up at all times, whether it's your Earth Shield or your Lightning Shield. Um, however, go with the Necro covenant and you're taken care of so stick with that earth shield is my go-to in this case um, i'll take all the added passive defensives that we can get there's there's a case to be made for spirit wolf if you're looking for that little bit of a uh, additional damage reduction but earth shield i just prefer it personally um, elemental assault is the go-to for tier four um, nature's guardian is used about a little over two-thirds of the time you do see a little bit of play with Feral Lunge. Um, that's that's a bit of fun that's there. What, what actually surprised me in uh, 9.05 is that like Windrush isn't getting a lot of love. Even though we're seeing some Turbo, even though we're seeing Enhance and, and Arms Warriors pair it up again as it should be. Um, yeah, still, still kind of saying consistently with Nature's Guardian and taking advantage of the free health that's there if you ever drop below 20 percent um tier six you're looking at sundering so a ton of fun with that build um avoid stormkeeper if at all possible and then finally tier seven is ascendance so pretty straightforward build you can look we're definitely a a burst class from a talent perspective you want to go pvp talent perspective you actually want to go with grounding totem um, just really reducing or redirecting harmful spells. Swelling Waves is kind of the next go-to, but there's a few PvP talents that are here. If you're looking for an added benefit from a self-heal perspective, this will give you that added 50% heal three seconds after you initially cast Healing Surge on yourself. Next one, and this is a ton of fun for me, is Shamanism. So it takes your Bloodlust and it basically reduces it down to a 60 second cooldown your haste buff is only 20 percent which is obviously a, a pretty substantial step down and it's only gonna really help you and uh, and your friendly target that you have um for 10 seconds so again really tightening up the burst window um but with the 60 second cooldown you're able to lust as often as you want or hero if you happen to be on that side of the faction um so that's my top three pvp talents additionally there's a couple more you can go with ride the lightning has a bunch of utility that's there um r really if you're you've got two enemies together and you're going to cast storm strike you additionally cast chain lightning that's a ton of fun and then finally thunder charge and that actually allows you to call down bolts of lightning and just charges you and whoever you've got targeted their their weapons so it really just reduces the cooldown recovery rates of a bunch of abilities by 30%. Um, kind of complements the burst build, but in, a, in kind of an opposite end of the perspective. Now, for me, I'm sticking Necrolord because I love switching between Elemental and Enhance. Although, right across the board, you'll see that Venthyr is about 9 out of every 10 Enhanced sh Shamans that are out there right now. Um, just their abilities as they land up really, really help. For me personally, I'm sticking with Necro because I really prefer having the Fleshcraft little bit of pump that's there. Although I've seen some pretty deadly videos lately of uh, some Venthyr enhances one shot in it. So definitely try out both. Try out Venthyr first and foremost would probably be my recommendation. See how it fits your play style and then get back to me. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Um, Drop me back and hit me up with some feedback. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Later.